it Fast Friday early. And we're gonna we're gonna call this one first Fast Friday or Fast Friday first. I think it should be these are the first ideas of the morning. Because that's when it's key, that's when it's freshest. Some F bombs coming today. Fresh, fast, first Friday. Because it's fresh. Here we go. Last night, it, 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 it's, it's actually Saturday morning. I know, I know. I've been doing Thursday Thunders on a Friday and Fast Fridays on a Saturday. But hey, life happens. And I want to be flexible. So here we go. I didn't even fast last night. I even didn't even fast Thursday night. I fasted Tuesday and Wednesday. And Thursday was awesome. Hey, but that's aside, beside the point. I want to get to the whole idea of first. First ideas of the morning. It's, it's sun is coming up. I had to, a little too, TMI here, a little too much information, but I had to pee and I woke up and I realized, oh, it's morning. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get up. But I was in bed for just a few minutes because the ideas were just coming at me and find this time for you. Find your frequency when you are just exploding with ideas, when the ideas are just being downloaded like a waterfall. And you're under the waterfall. Just think of like a tropical waterfall. And you're under there and you're just taking it all in and you're grasping what you can and, and trying to just hold on to what you can remember. And that's key to this first Fast Fresh Friday is grabbing what you can from that waterfall. Because if you go back to sleep or you go to the bathroom and you go back to bed or you do something else, or, or the worst is really to go start your day. Go have your coffee, have your tea, go take out the trash, hang out with the dog, watch Warriors highlights. Then it's over. Then it's really hard to get it back. So that's why I'm here. I haven't done a thing yet. I peed. Sorry, TMI. And then I'm on my couch. Pepper's even asleep over there. He's like, what are you doing up so early? Are we, we're not going out, are we? <laughs> so here's the thing. Last night, I did actually did three speeches. I did a prepared speech in English. Humorous. It was it was about Fred X, the Ted X parody, and then I did an English table topics, and then I did a Dutch table topics. Table topics is improv. You have one to two minutes to answer a question. That was super fun. So where I'm going is because so I'm going to be doing this coming Saturday, November twelfth, in Amsterdam. I'm in the competition, and I'm going to be doing the Dutch table topics, which is the answer the improv thing. In Dutch, right? That was so fun last night. It went really well. And then I'm going to be doing the five to seven minute prepared speech. Now, the speech I did last night was Fred X. And frankly, for another F-bomb, I, I think it's actually not such a funny speech. I think it's more motivational, inspirational. It's very good for first-time speakers to get, overcome their fear of failure and just get up there and do it and then bomb. And, and it's the Fred X way. So I think that's really cool. I just don't think it was that funny. So what I would like to do, and I talked about this with a few of my colleagues last night, and they were all in because they remember. So a couple of years ago, I did a speech. And I think then it was about asking. But I really think it's about decide, which I like because I have a book called Decide. And I think it's about the decision-making process. And it's a three-part process, and each and every one of us has it. And it's your mind, your heart, and your gut mind, heart, gut. And these three decision-making centers in each of us is how we make decisions. And so your mind is sort of the intellectual part, your heart weighs it back and forth, it thinks about the love, it thinks about the feelings, it's all, you know, gushy and, and thoughtful and thinks about others and all that. And the gut is just, boom, I just know, I just know, I know what to do. I'm doing, this is what I'm doing very reactional, very actional also, right? Just do it. So these three centers, what I want to do, here's the thought I had this morning. I want to, I know this fast Friday, I want to keep this under five minutes. Where am I? I'm already at. Where's the minute counter? Oh boy, I got to get going. So super quickly, the idea I had this morning was that this decision-making process that each and every one of us have each and every day, thousands of times per day, because it happens at lightning speed, these three decision-making centers all have their own opinions and their reasoning why we should or should not do something. And it's, it's lightning fast. 
you're at the ice cream shop and is it is it vanilla strawberry or chocolate right and you're like chocolate and you don't you're not thinking of these three decision making centers but what's happening is there are three sort of personas three personalities in each of us and they are discussing and arguing and making their case for why we should do or should not do a thing and each of these has a personality. And for me, my mind, I'm doing, I'm pantomiming this as if you can see me. My mind is very intellectual. So I do have some, my roots are German and French. So this is more the German guy, or it's maybe the Dutch guy in me. It's very architectural. It's very blueprint. It's very intellectual. It is philosophical. Maybe it's very thinking. It's very intelligence. It's mind, right? And that is... The Dutch guy, he's sort of Martijn, right? And so they, they have names too. They have, they, they totally have personas. And I know they talk about multiple personality disorder. I think this is multiple personality order. This is the order of decision making. This is how it works. I don't mean order in like, um, folk order, not in like the one, two, three of things, but in the order in the organization of things. So that is Martijn. That's, that's mind, mind Martijn. And then there's heart. And for me, I also have French roots way back when. So my heart is a French guy. And his name is, in English, I would say Harry. But because he's French, he can't really say the H. So he says, Harry, Harry. And Martin thinks that's kind of funny because it sounds like airy, like A-I-R-Y, which is, you know, sort of ditzy. And so Martin, the intelligent one, he kind of makes fun of, of of Eri, because he thinks he's kind of ditzy and he, he, he overthinks things and it's all about the heart and love and all these gushy feeling stuff. So Martin is, you know, making fun of Eri sometimes. And that, and, but he's all about the love and he's all about, he's very empathetic. He thinks of others. He takes care of a lot. He really, he usually doesn't overthink things. And it's really about love and the heart. That's Eri. He often takes the most time in decision making, right? So speaking of taking time in decision making, the last guy is Gut, and his name is Go. Now he would spell it G O because he's like a cool dude. So this guy's like the California surfer bro, right? He is just like I know the decision. He's California surfer guy. So Eri, he actually doesn't spell it. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with the spelling of these names. Martijn, by the way, is M-A-R-T-I-J-N, if you want the proper Dutch spelling of things. But go, he would have spelled it G-O, because he's like, go, dude, go, go, just go. But Eri is a little more sophisticated. It's G-E-A-U is the proper spelling. Like on the birth certificate for go, his parents wanted him also to be a little more sophisticated. And so it's G-E-A-U. So we have Martijn, Eri, and go. Martijn. Eri, go. Right? So these three guys are making these split second decisions all the time in our life. All the time. It's not, you know, should I move my hand up? Not that. That's more intuitive. That just happens in our bodies. Our, our mind is so, our whole body is so fascinating that we don't think about that. But it's really the, van, you know, vanilla strawberry chocolate decisions. These three guys, and for me, they're the guys, by chance, who knows? It could be, could be female, could be who knows? Not nothing. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever they are, but for you, they're they're different than for me. They're just different for everybody. So here, okay, here's the point I had this morning. That my the goal of my speech then is I want to slow it down for you and analyze this decision making process that each and every one of us has, so that we can understand the process better and hopefully learn to make better decisions. That's the goal of the process. So I want it to be a message. I, that's the message. Here's how to make better decisions. And actually, here's how decision-making works behind the scenes, right? And in our multiple personality order of things. And so I, right now, I'm thinking of, I got to keep it simple. Last time, a couple of years ago, I went over time because I, I had too many decisions. I, I, my, I went through the entire scenes of, I think, three decisions. Like, should I, what should I eat? And should I have that job? And should I go out with the girl? So I want to cut to, I want to cut the job. And I want to get down to what should I eat? And I was thinking of bitterbola. And then should I go out with the girl? Because that's kind of fun because it gets, you know, every gets into love, l'amour. 
and he talks about the air on your arm standing up and he can't say he can't say the h right so it's like air on your arm uh, that is one from two years ago by the way and so that's it so it is the speed and that's why i also want to get this out this morning the speed so here we are on fast friday right fast get it done now i i love the word fast because that means i'm not eating but it's also fast because my mind is so quick in the morning I mean, ask me at like 7.30 p.m. like to, to, to talk about this and be like, oh, um, yeah, something about three guys in my body making decisions. <laughs> it's clearly not quite as clever. So that's it. Uh, fast decisions. And I'm going to slow it down for you and analyze the process. And I'm going to take this millisecond decision-making process that these three guys have and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to dissect it and show you from almost a biological perspective what's happening in our bodies each and every day. And that each and every one of us has this. And if we can master these three personas in us and get to know them better, because they are separate individual personalities within us, and yet they have to coexist if we want to survive, not to mention thrive. That's it. Martin, Avi, and Go. And right now, I think we want to do two decisions. What are we going to eat? Like we're at the, at the snack bar. What are we going to eat? And I was thinking about bitter baller. Because Martin can get into the... the so just briefly, Martin gets into it because he's Dutch and he, he's going to analyze it a little bit and... And then Eri is gonna, he's probably gonna be against it because he, he's, he is a bit of French. He says, c'est dégueulasse, qu'est-ce que c'est que c'est, c'est, uh, troupe. Qu'est-ce que c'est que c'est, uh, Israel. And he's gonna say, oh, it's a bunch of junk, there's not even known what's in there. And go, he's not, he's not even in decision. He just grabs one and starts eating it. He's like, what are we deciding? So he decided by taking action, and that's very much go, right? It's very much how he is. And Martin is sitting there analyzing it, you know, what are the ingredients and the, the temperature of the deep fryer. And then, so that's it. I want to order, are we going to order the bitter ball or not? And then the the girl, and Martin's going to analyze her and talk about it, like her, her upbringing, her education, uh, all the intellectual stuff. Uh, Eri is going to talk about uh, l'amour, of course, and uh, how she, he, how she uh, makes the air on his arm stand up. And then Go is going to be, and I remember this one from a couple of years ago, she's awesome, dude, go for it, right? That's it. He's so just, boom, he just knows. Go knows. Go, no. Go knows. Go, no. Go, no. That would be G-E-A-U-K-N-O-W for those of you taking notes. Okay, this is way over my five minutes, I'm absolutely certain. Uh, but this is Fast Friday on a Saturday morning. And please, 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 if there's one takeaway from today, fast, 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 quick. Not just the fasting. I didn't fast last night, right? And here I am yet because I'm up early. And why am I up early? And why do I have so many ideas? Because last night I created like a madman. I had no less than three speeches last night. And after that, and before that, I had a, a one hour plus interview on Sudanya's awesome podcast, Real Talk with Sudanya. And I love how she introduces it. This is Real Talk with Sudanya, and I'm your host, Sudanya. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's you. I'm like, oh, is that your name? Real Talk with Sudanya. And I'm your host, Samantha. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I had so much fun last night. I gotta say, like table topics. I mean, my I think my FedEx talk is good, but it really wasn't funny. They were not like rolling in their seats or anything. They were not. They were a tough crowd. But frankly, the the, the speech isn't that funny. It's it's clever. Uh, yeah. Anyway, all right. Not the topic. Fast Friday. Boom, boom, boom. First thing on Friday, go record your first thoughts of the morning. And if on that Thursday you're creating, which hint, hint, pro tip, I think we should be creating every single day, then the creating is going to create more creation, right? Creating creates creating. And so create creates creating. <laughs> That's fun. 
and it's going to give you more. And then ideally you're going to wake up and say, boom, I've, I've got a new idea about that last idea. Okay. Wow. I'm way over five. I don't want to be over 10. That's it for day. Uh, that's it for this morning. I'm Bradley Charbonneau. This is Fast Friday. It's about fasting and it's about quickness. See you next week.